Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we will do in this episode is we need to create a user controller and a user resource. Now that is going to be needed if the user is logged in, we want to check if their details are on our database and then return that user. Okay, so let's do that. So in here, we just want to create that user. Right, so open up your terminal. In your terminal, let's quickly create our controller. So PHP artisan make controller. Right, so what we want to do is we want to go inside the API folder forward slash v1 and then the controller is user controller. And I just want to make it invocable, so I put a dash i in there. So if we go to our app HTTP controllers under API v1 and then we just want to add it in there. Okay, so just make it invocable. All right, so as you can see, the controller is created. Now let's quickly create our resource. So PHP artisan make a resource and then we're just going to go into i think in the resource we have a v1 folder so we're just going to go inside the v1 and then we're just going to create a user resource okay so then we press enter i just misspelled that so let me just close this off so as you can see we've got a user resource in here all right so what i want to do is i want to return an array Okay, so let me just bring this, cut this out, and put it in here. There's certain types of data that I want to leave on, so I would just say this uh, merge. Okay, so. Right, so what we can do is we can do an array only helper like this. Okay, so we can do that. Let me just make sure I bring this in so eliminate support array right there so this is the array that we're going to target okay then we can specify what's the only things that we need but what i want to do is i want to say just accept all right so the things that i don't want to be in the uh, array all right so array is accept and so the ones that i don't want in there is the created add date so i don't want that in there the updated add the email, I don't want that in there as well. So email and email verify that. So these data. Let me just check, make sure I spell that correctly. So under database, migrations, under this one right here. So this is basically the ones I don't want in there. So I just want to get this and I paste it in here just to make sure I get the names correct. Right, so this is basically our resource all done right now. So, okay, so that's the first part. So let's close this resource off. Now let's go to our controller. So on the app, HTTP, controllers, API, user controller right here. So as you can see, we've got our invocable controller right here. So let's quickly return that resource. So return, I'm just going to bring that user resource. All right, so as you can see, it brings it in right there. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to say make. Okay, and we just want to make it from the authenticated user. So auth and then user. Right, so that is basically our resource all done. So as you can see, just make sure you bring it in. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. The next thing is in our API right here, we're just going to do a route. And this is going to be a get route. And this is going to be forward slash user. And then it's just going to be that user controller that we just created class like this. Okay, so if we have, so in this case, this is an API resource. So if it's not invocable, you have to specify the method like this in there. But since it's invocable, we can just specify the path, the URL that we want to go to, and then a class like this. Okay. Awesome stuff. All right, so now that's our route and everything all set up. All right, so if we need to get this route with Axios, all we have to do is we're just going to say axios.get and then we're just going to go forward slash API forward slash v1 forward slash users like this. All right, so for our API. All right, awesome stuff. All right, so thank you guys for watching. That's all set up. So if there's more, that will add more to the episode because I kind of want to give, give you guys as much as possible so you can learn a whole lot of things. All right, so see you in the next one.
Adiós.